So this is one of my favorite sections right here, is the doll section. This bunk bed is so adorable. I love it. The doll clothes. So cute. Jammies. Hi. You want one, a doll too? Me too. And then there's the beds. So it's really cute. Yeah, give hearts, you guys, because when you give a heart to me, that really helps a lot. Look at those cute little dresses. These are Snow White and Brides. Oh, look at this one, Wizard of Oz. Anywho. Then I love looking at the quilts. Look at these quilts. Oh my gosh, this one's so beautiful. I love the tiny little squares. Oh. So this is what you get when you come to a country fair in Union, Maine. This is like 10 minutes from my house, maybe eight. <clears throat> and I come every year for 25 years. When my kids were little though, I was so poor, I couldn't even come to the fair. That's how poor I was. I couldn't bring my kids, I didn't even have a car. There's no buses that drive you to the fair from Camden. And um, so I couldn't come to the fair, and that's really sad. And I didn't, I didn't know about network marketing then. I didn't know that there was another way, and we didn't have internet yet, you know. So I was not very successful at anything I tried. So. And it's discouraging when you have kids and you want to do fun things with them, and you can't because <clears throat> you have no money. No money for anything. So you have to learn to get a entrepreneur spirit and have confidence that you're worth more than 40 hours a week, that you're worth more than food stamps and welfare, or whatever tiny child support you get. If, you, if your husband decides to leave you or he's abusive and you have to leave him. And... Um, To be able to go to the fair now is like, I feel like a rich person. Because it's $12 to get in, and $12 back then was my. That was, I had never had $12 left over. I didn't, I didn't even have laundry money. I did my clothes in the bathtub with uh, hand soap because I didn't have money for detergent. You know? Those were tough times, <clears throat> and uh, I never want to go back to that again. And I never want to see anyone ever have to do that. So if you're willing to add value to yourself, you get to go to the fair. Oh, I love that one. That one's really pretty. <coughs> if you add value to yourself, then you can add value to others. And then, you know what? You become extremely valuable to the marketplace. The, the key is to becoming valuable to the marketplace. <clears throat> the marketplace pays for value. And when you add value to yourself, they'll pay you. And I just did not have any value. I had needs. <clears throat> needs don't pay you. I was needy. And um, the marketplace doesn't pay you for your needs. It pays you for your value <clears throat> that you can add to others. And that is a huge secret that people don't know. They think, I need the money. I need it. I need it. I need it. Well, you don't need it. You're called to have it. And you're going to have it. You just have to have confidence about that. That you have something of value to offer people. Instead of saying, I need this and need this and need this from other people. You would be saying, I have value to offer people. Therefore, I'm going to have money. And then I'm going to help other people as well. Because confidence is not come cheap. <laughs> you know, there's a couple of ways to get it. And that's by hanging around confident people. I guess it does come cheap. But it doesn't, I mean, when I say cheap, I mean time. You have, it takes time to develop confidence by being around the right people. 
thinking about the right things, taking the right action steps, and then just believing in yourself, knowing in others, believing in others, because it, it's really hard to believe in yourself if you don't believe in others. So, <clears throat> my tip today would be if you are broke, poor, don't have enough money to go to take your grandkids to the fair, your children to the fair, you need to start an online business. You're called to start an online business where you can make connections with so many people and help so many people out there <clears throat> get confidence, start their own entrepreneur business. Because you can do anything. And I was just talking to my grandson about that last night because he wants to make money. And I said, well, you got YouTube, you got internet, you can do videos. Hey, want to say hi to my online Periscope friends? There she is right there. I got to stop it now. No, I'll stop it. Oh, where'd you get that corn dog? <laughs>